Hey guys, it's Joe the Android Guy. Now, we all know that smartphones and tablets have helped quite a bit to organize our personal lives. They hold all of our contacts, they hold our emails, they hold our calendar. It's great, it's all right there and it's all with us all the time. But what can we do to help automate some other parts of our lives? Well, that's where the Nest Learning Thermostat comes into play. Using your Android powered device or some other smartphones, you can control the heat or the air conditioning in your house. Let's unbox this and then see how it works. This is the Nest Learning Thermostat. This is just the surround that goes around it, but very nice, very elegant. This is the thermostat itself. Now, the thermostat looks like one of those old-fashioned kinds, except if you see here, we've got a nice little LCD. That's actually a uh, square LCD that's just made to look around for those of you who have asked. You've got a ring here that turns that way and that way. On the back, you've got a little mounting shoe. Uh, this essentially plugs into the mounting bracket. The mounting bracket is where you plug all your wires in. My thermostat has four wires. They're clearly labeled. I plugged them in and everything was fine. Little uh, mini USB port right there, not micro, but mini. Very neat. The only UI or only buttons really on this are, of course, your twist right and left and then push to select. Other than that, that's it. The interface is very, very smooth, very slick. Once you have those wires put in place, and you can see here it's complaining that I don't have this installed on its uh, base, so I can't use the thermostat. But once I've done that, uh, at that point then I have a very nice display that has the temperature, not only what the current temperature is, but what I've set it to be, whether that's higher or lower, and if it's actively heating, the display will be a kind of a, a bright reddish orange and if it's cooling it'll be a nice cool blue so you know when it's actually doing something when your equipment is on because you may not know if your heater or air conditioner is very quiet you just might not know now inside this we have three different thermometers essentially you know this is a, a thermostat it's supposed to be very accurate and if one of your thermometers is off because it's got a, a breeze going across it, while well, your heating or cooling is going to be off, and your comfort level as well. So this has three separate independent thermometers in it. It's got a, uh, a proximity sensor, which isn't working right now because it's not on the base, but it will light up when you approach it, if you want it to. You can tell it not to. You can tell it that you want it to turn on when you click down on it like you just saw me do. Uh, and then, of course, it's got a... Uh, and that, by the way, that uh, proximity sensor works in about a 150 degree angle, so it can sense quite a bit. With that, it knows when you're home. If there's no one walking around this, then it figures after a while that, well, you're not there, and it will start shutting things into what's called an away mode. Temperatures will get lower in the winter, but not so low that your pipe will freeze. It'll get hotter in the summer, but not so hot that your pets and plants will die. Uh, but it's not going to uh, try and condition the space for us when we're not there. So really kind of cool. It also has a humidity sensor in there, which is very, very neat. So that's cool just in and of itself, being able to utilize this. But hey, this is PocketNow.com. What does this have to do with smartphones? Well, not only is there a website that you, you can talk to this through Wi-Fi, uh, actually through a website that connects to the internet through Wi-Fi, you talk to their website, uh, but you can also do it from your uh, iOS device or your Android powered smartphone. So let's go take a look at that. So we've unboxed and we've installed the Nest Learning Thermostat. We went through the process to hook it up to the Wi-Fi and now you can see here we are early in the morning, quarter seven, and uh, it's dark outside, my lights are on, and it's 68 degrees. Now if I had multiple thermostats, I'd see multiple thermostats across there. I've only got the one, so let's take a look at it open it right up. You can see that my heat is set to 68 degrees. This is neither blue nor orange, so it's not heating or air conditioning. It's just kind of sitting there. If I want to raise the temperature a couple degrees, I can do that until eventually, you know, it kicks on the, uh, the heater, which it takes about 30 seconds to do. I don't want that to go up, so we're just going to bump it back to 68, which is where I like it. And there you go. It kicked the, uh, the heater on to go ahead and heat the house up. Now, that's great. This morning, I had this thing cranked all the way down to 50 degrees. It remembered that when I get up in the morning, I like it set to 68. So it bumped that up and I actually had the house all nice and toasty by about six o'clock this morning. 
I didn't have to set the temperature. I didn't have to wait for it to heat up. It just learned, it knew what I wanted, and it had the house already warm for me when I woke up. So this is one view. I would like to see a multi-touch twist knob. There's just something about that. They developed and designed uh, the actual thermostat with a twist knob. It would be nice if they had multi-touch to be able to adjust the temperature rather than just up and down. But that's UI, that might come. Uh, it might not and it's really not that much of a, a big deal let's go back to the first view if we rotate this on the side at this point now we can get to more thermostats like we had before we can also get to settings and this is how i set this up i hit settings down here and i can now add a thermostat that's what i had when uh, when i didn't have a thermostat set up here so now that i do i can set my fan to auto or on okay go back to settings I can rename it. I named it Nest. That was one of them that they named. If you've got a thermostat in your hallway, you can name it hallway, upstairs, you can name it upstairs, garage, whatever you want. So it's really easy to tell them apart. And they talk to one another. So they work together. Temperature scale, I can set to Fahrenheit or centigrade. And then technical information. It's got some MAC addresses and whatnot that you don't need to see on there. So we're done with that. Down here we've got heating versus cooling, and of course this is uh, January, so we've got it set to heating. Very, very cool, very nice. It does not have a widget, so you can't see just what the temperature of your home is at a glance. You actually have to launch the app, which does take a little bit of time to load and to communicate with their servers to get that information. But overall, very cool. Now, this is going to be the next big thing, not Nest per se, but automation of your home, automation of your environment. Uh, We've already kind of automated our PIM, our personal information management, like we talked about in the intro. This is the next big thing. There are going to be a lot of companies trying to jump on this, trying to figure out how to do it. Nest is one of those that's done it right. Next, we have electrical monitoring. That still doesn't have a really good solution. Um, there's not good hardware and good software. There's stuff out there. It's just not as elegant as Nest is. Uh, and then, of course, eventually we're going to have lighting control and whatnot that's all nice and elegant. Now, a lot of you are saying, hey, that already exists. There's some security systems that do that. Yes, there are. There are even some, uh, some do-it-yourself stuff. Yes, there are. They're just not elegant. They're not really uh, consumer-friendly. Uh, with this ne Nest Learning... I can't even talk today. Nest Learning Thermostat... I was able to unbox it and get it installed, I don't know, 15 minutes at the absolute tops. So very easy, very quick. The solution is elegant. Uh, my four-year-old son knows how to use this thing. It's that intuitive, and that's really what it's all about. So keep an eye out for stuff like that. If you see really elegant home automation solutions that you would like us to cover, or you'd like your other Pocket Now readers to know about, please leave those down in the comments below. Of course, if you like seeing this kind of uh, control over your life, give the video a big thumbs up. For Pocket Now, I'm Joe Levi.